U.S. President Donald Trump arrived Thursday in Britain, where he will find his own wall set up even as preparations for protests against his four-day visit are in full swing. Tall metal mesh barricades and concrete blocks have been erected around the perimeter of the U.S. Ambassador's swanky central London residence, Winfield House, where Trump will spend Thursday night. A sign attached to the fence reads, No access do not enter. A police security operation is taking place. This includes armed patrols, dog patrols, monitored CCTV and other measures. Any contravention, it warns, could result in force being used against you, your arrest and slash or prosecution. He extra security measures may strike Londoners as incongruous, set amid the leafy surrounds of Regent's Park, a spot popular with joggers, picnickers and families. Winfield House is the only place where Trump will spend time in central London, where demonstrators are expected to gather in their tens of thousands for a march on Friday afternoon, hours after a giant Trump baby balloon is flown near the UK Parliament in an eye-catching stunt. Speaking in Brussels as he wrapped up a contentious NATO summit, Trump shrugged off concerns over demonstrations, saying he had great friendships in Britain, where his mother was born. Yes, there might be protests, he said. But I believe the people in the UK, Scotland, Ireland as you know I have property in Ireland, I have property all over I think that those people, they like me a lot and they agree with me on immigration. The President and First Lady Melania Trump landed at London Stansted Airport, northeast of the capital, where they boarded a helicopter to Winfield House. On reaching the residence the pair walked across the lawn hand in hand. The First Lady wore a bodycon beige dress, cinched with an orange skinny belt, accessorized with beige stilettos. The U.S. Ambassador to London, Woody Johnson, insisted last week that Trump's itinerary was not intentionally designed for him to avoid encountering throngs of protesters. The president is not avoiding anything, he said. The president is merely trying to get as impactful a trip as he can get in a 24-hour period. Johnson added that the president appreciates free speech and that he was very focused on the special relationship between the U.S. and the U.K. Trump is on a working visit rather than a full state occasion. However, he is still being accorded the honor of a Thursday night dinner with May at Blenheim Palace, the birthplace of celebrated UK wartime leader Winston Churchill. The event will begin with a military parade featuring the bands of the Scots, Irish and Welsh guards in the spectacular Great Court. The music will have an American flavor, with the Liberty fanfare and the national emblem chosen alongside Amazing Grace. Trump may not be able to ignore the presence of protesters entirely. Some plan to stage an all-night noise protest outside the barricade surrounding Winfield House later Thursday, with those attending urged to bring pots, drums and vivuslas. Ahead of Trump's arrival, the U.S. Embassy advised U.S. citizens in London to keep a low profile during Trump's visit. Be aware of your surroundings exercise caution if unexpectedly in the vicinity of large gatherings that may become violent, it added. On Friday, Trump will bypass the mass protests in London as he heads to the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst with May for a military display, before talks at her country residence, Chequers. Trump and the First Lady will then have tea with Queen Elizabeth II at Windsor Castle in the afternoon. However, Media coverage may well be dominated by footage of the Trump baby balloon as it soars above the iconic Houses of Parliament for a two-hour spell. The request for the orange-hued blimp to fly was approved by London Mayor Sadiq Khan who has had a testy Twitter relationship with Trump after more than 10,000 people signed a petition. As of Thursday morning, more than 1,900 people had contributed to a crowdfunding campaign for the balloon, raising more than £30,000. Organizers now say they hope to take the blimp on a world tour, following Trump on his international diplomatic engagements. Sarah Elliott, chairwoman of Republicans Overseas UK, told CNN she did not think Trump would be phased by the stunt. I think whenever his detractors go after him, it makes him double down and it actually encourages him to keep going and prove everybody wrong, she said. So I think that's the effect the balloon will have. 
Blimp organizer Leo Murray said it had been designed to speak to Trump in a language that he understands, which is personal insults. But, he added, whether he sees it, whether he reacts to it, we don't really care. It's about lifting the spirits of the nation and it's already doing that, you know, it's just putting smiles on the faces of people who had started to despair about the state of politics. Potentially tens of thousands are expected to march to a rally in Trafalgar Square on Friday afternoon, organized by the Stop Trump Coalition. Dozens of other, smaller protests against Trump's visit are set to take place around the United Kingdom throughout his stay. On Saturday, Trump supporters will rally near the U.S. Embassy in Nine Elms, South London, for an event titled Welcoming Trump to Britain Rally Make Britain Great Again, at which a number of right-wing figures are scheduled to speak. The Trumps will have left town the night before for Scotland, where the president owns two golf properties, Trump Turnberry and Trump Aberdeen. Trump will spend the weekend at the former, which he described as a magical place, before heading to Helsinki, Finland, for a much-anticipated summit on July 16 with Russian President Vladimir Putin.